Hawaii scientists have discovered the warming of the ocean waters in the eastern Pacific is occurring more often and is more drastic. The event called El Nino can have a big impact on the islands. KITA Force Cam Tran explains. It's all new at 10. You can see uh, the drought events in here. Scientists at the University of Hawaii use tree rings similar to this to track the climate trends in the last 600 years. What they found was El Nino, the dramatic warming of ocean waters in the eastern Pacific, has significantly increased in the last century. 1900 to basically present day, we see a much higher uh, variability uh, in the eastern equatorial Pacific temperatures. This higher variability in warmer sea surface temperatures can impact Hawaii's weather. It changes rainfall patterns. Uh, so typically during El Nino events, we have increased chances uh, for drought. And the drop in rainfall can be pretty significant. What happens on average during an, a strong El Nino event is a change in the precipitation in the Hawaiian Islands uh, by 10 to up to 30 percent depending on the region. Warmer than normal sea surface waters in the Pacific also means bigger swells for the North Shore. It produces stronger storms near the Aleutian Islands, one of the main sources for big waves for the islands. Chances are very high that during El Nino events we have higher wind speed. Higher wind speed meaning a stronger surf here at the North Shore in particular. In fact, the last time the eddy was a go was in 2009, an El Nino year. Three of the eddy icons were in the three strongest El Nino uh, years that we had. On the opposite hand, cooler than normal sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific, or La Nina, can mean more rainfall for the islands. But Timmerman says these trends are not hard and fast rules. There are exceptions and other instances that may drive Mother Nature and her impact on the islands. El Nino and La Nina are just one of the indicators. Cam Tran, KITV4 News. And Cam tells us that right now we are not in, not in an El Nino nor a La Nina cycle. Hmm. And Timmerman says he doesn't know exactly what's causing the El Nino frequency to rise.